This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. All right, guys, this is Drive Vlog 3, and we're going to discuss briefly makeup air units, what they are, a couple of applications you can use them in, and a couple of different types. For one, what is a makeup air unit? Well, a makeup air unit, what it does is it brings in 100% outside air into a building or a space. Now, why does it do that? Well, one application is a kitchen. Okay, so in a kitchen, you have chefs that are cooking on stoves that have range hoods over top of them. So those range hoods are removing air and a lot of it. And in that kitchen, we probably have gas fired equipment. Burners fired, I don't know if you, there you go. For one, and we don't want to put that kitchen under a negative pressure. So we introduce makeup air back into the kitchen. Okay, so we can keep the air pressure somewhat neutral. A lot of laboratories, they have exhaust fans. Those exhaust fans could be in the form of a fume hood where they might have like an open jar of, of some sort of liquid that produces fumes that is toxic or shouldn't be around human beings. So they put these jars inside fume hoods while they're working on them and all that air is exhausted. So to prevent creating a negative pressure in the building, we introduce air back into the building. Another example of this is in apartment buildings, in condo buildings, high rise buildings with like, let's say 10 stories. So there'll be a makeup air to pressurize the hallways. Now, for every door, every tenant space or every suite, there's gonna be probably a bit of a gap in the door. That gap in the door is to allow the, the, the pressurized air in the hallway to get underneath because what's going on inside apartments or suites uh, of high rise buildings? People are using kitchen exhaust fans, washroom exhaust fans, so we need to replace that air. So that makeup air is to come in and replace lost air from the building that's usually being exhausted out for some reason. Now there's two types of makeup air units. There is direct fired and indirect fired. Now direct fired makeup airs, what happens with those is we have a burner, okay? And the burner lights and basically the burner is in the airstream. So all the products of combustion actually go into the space. These are seen a lot in kitchens, okay? But they have to be interlocked with an exhaust fan. So the exhaust fan is gonna run before that makeup air will start. If the exhaust fan is dead and is down, the makeup air should be, shouldn't be allowed to start because of the way it operates, because it's direct fired, the burner is right in the airstream. The other type is indirect fire. That type there is gonna have a heat exchanger inside of it. Okay, and we don't need to worry about the products of combustion getting into the space. And that one does not need to be interlocked with an exhaust fan. Okay, that one is safe to use for apartment buildings, condos, so on and so forth. The indirect, or the, the direct fired kind, basically you're gonna see those in kitchens and warehouses where people are in for a certain period of time and then they leave but they're not sleeping there. Anyway guys, that was just a quick little rundown on makeup airs. There is an article on hvacknowitall.com if you guys are interested. I will leave it in the summary of this video and you guys can check it out. If you guys like the content I'm bringing guys, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more of it coming as we go on. Happy HVAC.